Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and I'm very excited to share this preview with you. I made this idea for coming uh, celebrations and here in Mexico we celebrate Mother's Day. So I want that you all make this break for you or for someone else. This will be the perfect gift. You won't believe how easy it is. And remember that here I will show you and I will try to give you the easiest steps. So before we start, it's important that you all subscribe and then I will give you the materials and all the secrets and tips. We are going to learn how to make this stitch and approximately I will make a long shawl that will measure 50 centimeters long, okay? I will use 500 grams of this material, it's a light material, it's number 3, and the hook of number 3 millimeters or 3.5 according how you crochet so if we measure it from side to side we will have the 50 centimeters that I told you and we will start some chains in this case I will make 80 chains and this stitch is multiples of 13 so from here to here we have 13 and plus 10 uh, stitches each side so I will make 80 so we will start right here making some chains and this will be the first row this one right here let me show you so after the chains we will make this row okay so here imagine you have the 80 chains we are going to make three chains more in this case I will make a sample because I already finished my show but I want to show you okay we are going to count and in the number seven we will turn over twice before and right there inside the hook we will take one two two and the last two then again we are going to make a long double crochet so we'll turn, we will turn over twice sorry and again in the same space we are going to make the long double crochet then two chains and again in the same space we are going to make two double crochet I mean two long double crochet <laughs> so we'll turn over twice insert the hook take one take two take two and the last two so we will have here the first shell so look here like I did the get ahead I will follow what I did is this is also helpful for you so you can see how to copy and how to get a project that it's already done so we make this now we are we made sorry the shells now we have to make the leaves so we will make five chains then turn over twice and we will insert the hook right where we started like cleaning the hook you see and again we will make a long double crochet right there we are going to make one then turn over twice and we will leave the last loops in hold you see again in the same place we are going to make a third long double crochet also leaving the last loops in hold we will make the number four also in the same place this is to make the first leap you see so here we have four long double crochet that we have here if we count we have a four also two so now bring them through and make one chain to close and well here sorry just a quick tip I remember that now I didn't make the chain here because I have a space between so right away where I finish I insert the hook right here and I started with the next step so here it seems to be a long double crochet and then the leaf so this is what we are going to make we are going to yarn over three times we will skip three four five six okay so here let me see one two three four five six seven eight okay in the number eight we are going to insert the hook so here we have already counted so in the number seventh okay and we will make a long double crochet we will take one two 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 and we have like a double long double crochet you see because remember that we turn over three times now in almost in the middle right there we are going to insert the hook and make a double crochet so here we have one also in the same place let's make two and well so far is what the stitch is set right 
like we have here. So now let's make the leaf. So now one, two, three, four, five chains. Turn over twice and come back where we started and right there make a long double crochet. Remember that to make a leaf we are going to make counting the first chains that we made. We will make four double crochets. So here we have three and we will leave the last loops in hold and let's make the number four. Okay, once we have this bring them through and right away insert your hook and we will make this a step. So the shell, the leaves, the flower, so we call this the flower and then the leaf again. So again let's start with the next segment. So you see so far how the stitch is going. So again we will repeat, we will skip 6 and in the 7th and right there we are going to start with the shell. So a long double crochet, first we are going to make 2 in the same space, remember, then 2 chains and again in the same space 2 long double crochet. So yarn over twice, insert your hook and take 1, take 2, take 2 and the last 2. You see? Now we are going to make the leaf, so and then the flower and again the leaf. So we are going to make 5 chains we will turn over again, come back to the same place and right there, remember leaving the last loops in hold, we are going to make counting the first chains that we made for long double crochet. Okay, so once we finish, we are going to bring them through and without making any chain, remember, right away we are going to insert the hook, we will skip 6 and in the number 7, but before we are going to turn over three times. Remember that here we are going to make the flower. So we will take two, first we will take one, then two, 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 and the last two, and then we will come back to the middle before we will turn over, you see, and right there we are going to make two double crochet, and here we are making the flower. Then right away we are going to make five chains and right there we are going to start making the second leaf. And we are going to make um, three double crochet but counting the first chains for double crochet. Then we are going to bring them through and take all the stitches together. Okay, so according to the sequence we have, this is one sequence, right? So now we have to make, after the flower and the leaf, we have to make the shell. So here let's make a review. And basically this will be the whole stitch. Once we finish to make this row, I will show you how we are going to make the second part and how we are going to go up, okay? But first, let's finish this row first. Remember that here I'm making a sample, but you are going to use the stitches and the chains that you made. Remember that I recommend that you made 80. But well, I will continue talking <laughs> as we make a review so you can see exactly how it is. It is so easy once you learn how. If you want, you can take notes too. And uh, you can make it in the colors that you want. I think that's a perfect gift for this coming celebration. Here in Mexico, we celebrated in May 10th. Please let me know in your country if you celebrate this day and if you do in which day it is. So, well, here I think I'm going to finish. Remember that I'm making a sample, but I think I'm going to finish right here so I can show you how we are going to go up. So here for the sample, I just made two, two segments, right? So here we are going to count one, two, three, and in the fourth, we are going to make the last double crochet for the edge. And well, remember to check here in the edge, we will have the shells and here only we made two segments but because we are making a sample right but here let's count here we have one two three four and five so here we have five segments but here remember that we are making a sample so here only we have two segments so we will go up with four chains. So imagine that we are making the real sample, right? And here we will start with a shell. 
we are going to finish and start the row the same way, okay? So we will always start and finish with a shell. So two double crochet, two chains, and two long double crochet, all of them in the same space. So well here we finished to make the first shell. Now let's take a look in a stitch so we can see what's next. So after the shell we have this chain and then we complete the uh, like a leaf and then again the chain. So we are going to make five chains and here where we have this flower we are going to make double crochet. So here we will make sorry the half double crochet like this. We are going to make three half double crochet over the flower. Then five chains and then here we are going to make a shell. So two long double crochet, then two chains and again in the same space two long double crochet then five chains five and here over the flower a three half double crochet so here i want to finish this second row with you so you can see exactly what it is and how it is right <laughs> then again five chains and we are going to make shell over shell remember that we are going to finish the row like we started so two long double crochet, then two chains, and again two long double crochet, and we will finish making here the last double crochet of the edge. And well imagine that you finish to make, remember that this is a sample, we will have something like this. We will start and finish the row with a shell and also with a double crochet for the edge. So we will start the same, we will go up with four chains and then inside the shells we are going to make shell over shells and remember to have double crochet, then two chains and again to have double crochet. And remember that we are going to finish like we started. And in your case, you are going to have six segments. Remember that here I'm only making two. So look, according to the stitch, over the chains that we made, now instead we are going to make leaves, then single crochet, and again the leaf. So for example, you already know how to make the leaf, right? So we are going to make five chains through three four and five then we will turn over and in the same place we are going to make three half sorry three um long double crochet in the same space and we will leave the last loop in hold then we are going to bring them through and right away we are going to go to the center and right here in these spaces over the last half double crochets that we made we are going to make right there single crochet we are going to use this one this one and one after so we can have center the single crochet and completed rowing right there okay so the last one right here so three single crochet then we are going to make five chains three four and five we will turn over twice and again right there in the space we are going to make three long double crochet to make the leaf and we will leave the last loops in hold remember that counting the first chains that we made at the end we will have four so we will bring them through and then we will start right away with the next shell remember here I made one chain but we won't make any chain after the leaf because if not the stitch extends and looks more wide so right away we are going to make the next step so like this we are going to continue the whole row so so far we have three rows okay so see you in at the end of this row to teach you what's next and so far I'm loving it well look this is the end of the row number three I have started the row number four the same way with the shells 
and with a double crochet of the edge. So now according to the stitch, now after these rows we are going to make the Vs and the chains and the shells too. So here I have started like we start all the rows and after the shells, well we are going to make 5 chains and then we are going to make like the antennas of the butterfly or the dragonfly, okay? So here we are going to make a long double crochet, we are going to um, turn over twice and make right there a long double crochet, we are going to make two together and between them we are going to make three chains. And well again, here we are going to make shell over shell, okay? So two uh, long double crochet, then two chains, and again in the same space again, two double crochet. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row, and this is the row number four, okay? So we are going to continue, and here we have to throw the antennas. Well, here I finished the row of the antennas, and then I started with the fifth row, also with the double crochet of the edge and the shell. So now we are about to make this big shell where we make two, four, six, eight, and nine double crochet. And then we make three chains and three chains after and before, then the shell. So we, it's, this is what we are going to do. So three chains, then yarn over twice, and right here where we made the antennas, right there, we are going to make nine long double crochet so as you could see before I insert the hook I jump over twice I take two 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 and the last two again we will repeat and like this we are going to make nine so here we have five six seven eight and nine so here nine long double crochet, then we are going to make the three chains. So I want to finish this segment with you so you we can review. Well then remember we are going to continue making shell over shell. So we are going to make two long double crochet, then two chains and again two long double crochet also in the same space. So remember this is the row if I remember correct. This is the row number 5. Okay, so, so far we must have something like this. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Remember, between and after the 9 long double crochet, we are going to make 3 rows. Sorry, 3 chains. Well, here I finished the row of the 9 double crochet. Now I started with the next row. So, so far we must be here, right? So we finished the antennas and the 9 double crochet and then we are about to start with this row. After the shells we are going to make chains, single crochet, chains and the shell too. So after the shell we are going to make 5 chains. So here we have 3, 4 and 5. Then we are going to make right in the middle of the 9, we will count and in the fourth we will make the first single crochet, then next with the second and then next with the third. Then five chains and again turn over twice and inside the shell we are going to make shell over shell. And basically this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Okay, now I want to show you how the drawing is going so you can have an idea of how it is. So after the shell we are going to make the 5 chains, then the 3 single crochet and like this the whole row, ok? So we are in the row number 6. Well, so here we finish the 6th row, ok? So now we are about to see what's next, so according to the stitch we are right here, right? So this means that we have to make the leaves, the flower and the leaf. So this means that we are about to start with the second series. It means with the first row that we made and like this is how we are going to repeat the five coming rows. So this will be one series.
And like this is zero, we are going to repeat as many as we need according to the length that we want. I will count how many I made to give you the number. And well, also like this, you are going to decide the size of the shelf that you want to make it, okay? So I will give you the number, let me count them. And well, uh, we won't make any extra stitch here for the edge. I think it's perfect. We are just going to decorate at the end with some fringes, but I will show you. So for example, this means that one, two, three, four, five, and six rows means one series. And in this row is where we are going to make the leaf with the flower and then the leaf. So let's make a review. So we will make five chains. Then in the same space we are going to make the three coming long double crochet and we will leave the last loops in hold right there. So here we have three and four. Then we are going to bring them through and without making any chain like this we are going to turn over three times. First make the long double crochet right here in the middle so we will take one, two, two, two and the last two we will come back to the beginning I'm sorry to the middle and right there we are going to make double crochet we are going to make two then five chains and right here where we started we are going to insert the hook and make the second uh, leaf. So here we have two, three, and four. And like this, we are going to continue the whole row. Okay, this is the first row, remember. And like this, we are going to copy the number two, the number three, the number four, five, and six row to make the second series. If you have a doubt, you can see the last rows that you made and you can come back also to the video and make a review of the rows, okay? But I think it's so easy to follow. So like this, we are going to continue making more series until you get the long of the show that you want, okay? Remember that we started with 80 chains. Okay, so remember that I did get ahead and I finished to make the series that I wanted. I try on, I count the series like this, each six uh, rows, remember, I count them and I have 14 uh, series, okay? Approximately, if I measure, we have two meters long uh, and once you iron it, remember that you will get more centimeters. So please take that into account and at the end I just decorated with some fringes. So for now I will give you homework, finish all the series that you want, try on and see if you like the long. Also if you want you can close it and make make a shawl or like you want, in, sorry, or make a poncho. In this case I'm making a shawl. But well, I will continue and I will show you how I made the fringes and how I decorated. Well, at the end, once you finish to make the series that you need, now we are going to make the last rows for the bottom, okay? So we are going to make six chains and then single crochet. Again, six chains and then single crochet. So you are going to calculate the distance and you must have the same between waves. Like this, making these waves out of six chains we are going to make three rows so far we are making the first one right so like this one we are going to make two rows of waves okay and basically like this the whole row okay now I will show you how it looks because I did the same in the other side in the bottom two so here I finished to make the three rows of waves and for example between shells I made okay so we must have the same between shells four sorry four so you must have the same in the other bottom two and then I alternate the spaces and alternate the waves and I finish with three rows of waves and well you will decide the stitch that you want to make okay so here the secret to have this part straight is that when we finish we are going to make five chains and single crochet to go up and to have this side straight
Well, at the end of these three rows of ways, we are going to make the fringes. Well, so to make the fringes, we are going to use this technique. Remember that you can use a cardboard or your cell phone, something to have as a reference and to make all the fringes this at the same distance, okay, the sa at the same long. We are going to count seven to also make them all the same. Okay, so we are going to take them all like this, like how we folded them, then we are going to cut and we are going to cut um well in this case we won't we won't use any extra um thread, okay? We will use our hook and we are going to as we were about to make a chain and we are going to bring them through and to make a knot. If you want you can cut or you just could leave like this and then you can iron it, okay? I like to leave it like this folded because like this they won't damage, okay? So once you um, iron them they will look so much pretty, okay? You will decide the distance of where you want to put the fringes, okay? In case that you want or if you want you can make an extra stitch to decorate it or just leave it like this. This is up to you, so far I love the result, I love how it looks. I hope that you have enjoyed making this show with me. As I told you I'm making this idea for Mother's Day. So please let me know if you are going to wear it and for what you are going to use this show. I love the color, I love how it looks. I will share here some pictures of how you can wear it. Remember that there are a lot of ways that you can wear this shawl. You can use it uh, like here using one beautiful brush in one side and off the shoulder. Also you can leave it uh, with one uh, arm free or all of them to the back or if you want you can close it like you want. I hope that you enjoyed this idea or also as a beach cover up, right? So, well, please let me know if you like this video or no. Please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to leave me a comment. Also, please follow me on my social media. I will be very happy to have you there too. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon. Bye!